Welcome to the Love Mother Podcast. I'm your host, Kate Isaac, and I hope to encourage, equip, and inspire you, busy mama, to live out your motherhood with fearless faith and powerful purpose. I know motherhood can be busy, overwhelming, and mundane, but there is another way, a motherhood full of joy and abundance. When we remove focus from worldly distractions and live our lives in the fullness of Christ, we discover the women and mothers God created us to be. Join me for open and honest discussions and interviews about gospel truths, motherhood, family, home, foster care, and adoption. This podcast invites God right into the beauty and busy of mom life and was created for mamas who crave more, more joy, more impact, more purpose, more Jesus. Let's dive into today's episode. Well, hello, beautiful mama, and welcome back to another episode of the podcast. I am your host, Kate Isaac. This is episode 28. And if you are listening right now, then you know a prayer was answered because I have been having major tech difficulties. I'm not sure if it's my microphone or my recording system software. I don't know what's going on, but I've been having major difficulties. So I'm going to keep this one short and sweet in case it doesn't work. It's actually quite interesting because I plan my content out months in advance. And what I had to share with you this week just didn't feel right. So I just said, God, what do you want me to share with these women, these precious women that listen to this podcast? What should I be sharing? And he just prompted me to remind you that he has you. And he wanted me to encourage you right where you are today. I know life feels hard and heavy for so many of us right now. This worldwide pandemic has knocked our socks off, not in a good way. And we're struggling. So many are struggling. Suicide rates are so high. Mental health issues are so high. So I just want to remind you today, if you're going through something really difficult within life circumstances, that God has got you. Even if it feels like he's far away, he loves you. He's calling you to him. He's working all things together for the good of those who love him. Look for his kindness. Look for his goodness. And I know that can seem hard right now with so much evil, corruption, and division everywhere we look. But as believers, we have hope. We have hope. Don't forget that hope. None of this is a surprise to God. None of the world's circumstances and none of your specific life circumstances right now are a surprise to God. So I encourage you to focus on the good because even amidst the bad, even amidst the hard stuff, there's always good and there's always glimpses of God's kindness and love for us. Remember, in Christ's death and resurrection, it is finished. It is done. He has overcome the world. Amidst the craziness that the world is in right now, He has you. He loves you. Search for the good because it's there. Get off mainstream media. It's breeding fear and anxiety with the narrative that they're trying to push. And this is not a political podcast in any way, shape, or form. But please know, culture and mainstream media has a different narrative than God's narrative. And this isn't about conspiracy theories and what's right and what's wrong. There's so many questions, and I know a lot of Christians are caught up in the middle of it trying to know what is right just encourage you to get off mainstream media. If you're struggling with fear and anxiety right now, get off mainstream media. Search for truth and just focus on what you can do right now. What can you do right now? What do you have control over? There's so much in the world we don't have control over. I know probably everybody listening to this has had to put something on hold, has had to cancel a wedding or a baby shower or has been trying to foster and can't get the process going because of all the delays or is trying to finalize an adoption and COVID has delayed them so much. There's so much we don't have control over because of this pandemic, but what can we control? What healthy choice can you make? What next right thing, as Emily Lay says, what's the next right thing? What can you control? What can you do? Can you implement a healthier diet plan? Can you implement a workout schedule that's going to make you feel better? Can you get in your Bible every day and commit to half an hour to giving to the Lord of every day? What can you do? What do you need to do? Listen for the Spirit's leading. Let Him convict you. What do you need to do right now in this moment? Speak truth over your life and be encouraged. Get in the Word. I have a sheet of biblical affirmations for motherhood you can get off my website. If you just go to lovemotherblog.com, click the blog section, you will see a search bar pop up and just type in biblical affirmations. It'll lead you right there. Or, you know, why don't I make it easy for you and I'll, I'll link the exact page in the show notes. But these biblical affirmations I speak over my motherhood every day are just encouraging to me. I need to speak life. Words are powerful. I've said it many times before. Words are powerful. Live in the freedom of the Lord. If you are a believer, you have freedom fully embrace and live in that freedom. 
And talk to someone if you're struggling. If fear and anxiety is taking over and you feel alone and you're in the dark, guess what? That's where the enemy wants you. He has you in a place where it's so easy to attack right now. But you are stronger than that. You have the power of the Holy Spirit within you. Ask for God's help. Bring that fear and that anxiety and that darkness. Bring it into the light. Talk to somebody if you need to. I'm here. I'm here. Friend, I don't know where you're listening from or where you are or what your life circumstances are, but I want to support and encourage you if that's what you need. Just most importantly, get in your Bible. I know I've said it a couple times already, but I want that to be the theme that is thread through this podcast episode is to get into your Bible. Don't let life circumstances distract you from being in God's word because right now, more than ever, I mean, always, of course, but more than ever, we need the power of God's word. Meditate and listen for the Holy Spirit's guiding. The world is so noisy right now that, it's, it, that it may be hard to hear him. So meditate, get quiet, be still, have time for a reflection. See what God wants from you right now. Lastly, I want to speak to each of the foster moms listening, because I know that's a huge portion of the audience that listens to my podcast and watches my channel. I know there's a lot of goodbyes from people I follow on social media. It seems like there is a whole slew of us in a season of having to say goodbye. And I said us because, yeah, I'm included in that too. And I'm not going to talk, obviously, about the circumstances of the case of our little sweet guy, but we have a goodbye coming up that we need to prepare for. And it kind of came out of nowhere. But we have to trust in God's plans for these little ones' lives, or these big ones. I know some of you foster teens and older kids, but we have to trust in God's plan for their lives. And it's hard because the system is so broken and it lets down these kids every single day. Personally, I'm focusing on what an honor and a privilege it was, and still is, to have this sweet little guy in our home for the past almost 11 months now. What's that Winnie the Pooh quote? Something about how good it is to have loved someone that makes saying goodbye so hard. I'm rejoicing in in some decisions being made in his case, and I'm really grieving some decisions being made in his case. And I'm walking through this with my kids. It's been a long time since we've had to say goodbye, and I had to pry our little guy from my oldest daughter's hands while she hid in the closet, trying not to let me take him for a visit this week. And that is hard. That is really hard, and I'm not going to talk about it too much because the tears, trust me, friends, the tears are just below the surface. And if I talk about it too much, they're going to bubble over and this is just going to be a blubbering mess. But it is hard to walk through that grief with my biological kids and to ask them to do this. But it's also a great blessing because we get to talk about God's love and why we should love and serve others and why we should crucify our flesh to live for the Lord. So if you have a particularly hard season coming up right now because you have to say goodbye, just know that you are loved you are seen, you are heard, you are felt. My heart is holding a little bit of space for your grief too. And we can walk through this together. But you did an amazing thing for that little life or that big life, mama. You did an amazing thing. And their life will be forever changed because of the love you gave that child or that youth. I was reading Jamie Finn from Foster the Family blogs. I'm sure a lot of you listen to her. But I was reading her blog post and she was talking about how It's going to feel like death when she has to say goodbye, and it does feel like death. And I totally understand that exact feeling of what she's saying. And she's talking about the life of Esther, and what does Esther say? If I perish, I perish, because she's doing it for the Lord. And that is exactly how I feel about fostering. If my heart breaks, it breaks. If I have to grieve hard, I grieve hard. I can choose hard things, because I'm doing it for the Lord. And God has called me to do hard things and to continually do hard things. And I'm going to keep doing hard things because in his will is the safest place to be. So friend, let me just end with a prayer and a virtual hug through the microphone, through the speakers that you're hearing my voice right now. Just know that I'm giving you a virtual hug. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for each of the women listening. And thank you that you have us, Lord. Thank you that you have space for our grief, our anger, our tears, our confusion, our upset with everything that's going on in the world right now. Lord, take our anxiety, take our fear, and let us live in the light of Christ. Let's not let darkness overcome, Lord. I am asking you to be near and be with women that are listening right now that are going through something really hard, whether that's 
a season of anxiety or depression or the loss of a loved one or the loss of a foster child. There's a lot of heavy and hard right now, Lord, but we know you have us. Thank you for encouraging us with that. And thank you, Lord, that we can open your scriptures at any time and be renewed and be refreshed and feel your love through those words written on those thin pages. Thank you, God, for who you are and for all you've done. I pray blessings and favor upon each of the women listening today. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next week, friends, my name is Kate. This is the Love Mother Podcast. Please leave us a rating and review if you enjoyed this podcast. It helps other like-minded individuals to find it and to help our community to grow. Um, You guys are the best. I have the best community of all the communities out there and all the people that have different platforms. We are a small but tight-knit community, and you guys are the best. And I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. So I just want to thank you and acknowledge you and remind you that you are loved. 